Why, hello everybody, Lego Dude 11 here, and today I have a brand new custom minifigure tutorial to, for you. And today's is a very super uh, exciting one because this is my new minifig rotator, and I'm super happy that it's here for you. Let me just go out a little bit here and see what that looks like. There we go. And this is super exciting to have for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. This custom is for May the 4th itself. Happy May the 4th. And uh, so if you are enjoying it, tell me, leave a like, um, leave a like on this video. Comment down below with what you're doing on May the 4th or May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you guys. And um, I'm going to bring this custom a little bit closer and uh, take a look at it. So let's go. So Darth Tenebris, I know nothing about this character. Um, I'm going to give credit to Minifig Hub. Um, this link to his Instagram will be down below. Check him out. Um, what I did here is I basically used, is that good or does it need to be farther in? I think it's going to be right there. Is I used the head from the Cantina guy from, he doesn't come with this saxophone, I just gave him that, the, can, the Bith dude head. So that's the head that he used and the head that I had. And then I used the armor from the Batman from the, um, this, these are the legs from the Batman from Batman vs. Superman, the Kryptonite Batman. And I used the same torso underneath. He used a different torso, but I didn't have that torso. So I just happened to use that one. The he gave him um he gave the character black hands. I forgot to remove them out, but if you want to use black hands like he did, go ahead. I just chose to leave it like this because I thought this character looked dope anyway. And then I used the th legs from the Thor Ragnarok. Don't use uh, use the ones with the cape. Um because this is the ones that he had, and I had both of them. So um and I found these ones. They look quite cool as well. Um, so yeah, use those. Those are the ones you're going to want to use. And then use, he used the black um, breathing apparatus, but I only had a gray one. So I was like, all's well that ends well. And that's what I had. So that's pretty cool. And I love this. And then I gave him a light, a red lightsaber piece. So that's what I, that's how, um, that's one of the, I found a red lightsaber. And that's how to make Darth Tenebris from I think, I don't remember if this guy was in the Clone Wars, because I've seen all the Clone Wars, but I'm not certain as to what he was in. If he was in, like, a flashback of a Star Wars prequel, because um, I don't think he was mentioned or anything in the original series. So, I'm curious to hear what you think of this custom. Let me know, um, and let me know if you guys would like to see a weekly series of customs. I don't really make customs weekly, but uh, this was just happened to be on a Monday, because I know people who do custom minifinger Mondays, and... Uh, but yeah, happy May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. And uh, I will see you guys. Um, I hope you guys like this custom for May the 4th. Um, I just happened to make this because I had the pieces. And I was like, heck, this is a Star Wars custom. So I'll do it for May the 4th. So so don't forget to leave a like. Uh, subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Link to my Instagram will be down below. Link to Minifig Hub will be down. Uh, link, Minifig Hub's Instagram will be down below for you guys to check out his other beautiful customs. It, it's amazing what the stuff that he does. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, follow me, and as always, don't forget to keep calm and play Lego. Bye everyone.